Hey, it's Alex Slam, and in this episode of Stories of the World, we'll be talking about the Krukenberg Procedure. Now, the Krukenberg Procedure is a surgical technique that converts the forearm stump into a pincer. So, kind of think Zoidberg. Now, I know what many of you are thinking. With the technological advancements in prosthetics, this procedure seems to be primitive. We've got 3D printers you can buy for less than 500 bucks. We've got factories that are able to mass produce any prosthetic limb. So why would people consider undergoing the Krukenberg procedure? And the answer is pretty simple. The Krukenberg procedure enables grip and allows for effective maneuvering and it is more cost efficient. So most of the people who get the Krukenberg procedures are from third world countries and don't have the means to afford expensive prosthetics or blind patients because it can provide the patient with the sensation of touch, which means they're able to feel objects in a more detailed manner. The Krukenberg procedure was first described in 1917 by the German army surgeon named Hermann Krukenberg. The procedure involves separating the radius and the ulna to provide a pincer-like grasp motored by the pronator teres muscle. The strength of the vice-like grip varies from patient to patient, however it has always resulted in increased dexterity. So the Krukenberg procedure is quite rare, but I have found some results that I'd love to share. It's from July 1998 to September 1998 in Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone has struggled with civil war, which civilian population has been the principal target. And the International Committee of the Red Cross established a mission to help individuals who had one or both arms amputated. Now I'm going to read the findings. If you want more details on uh, this mission, I'll provide a link in the description box below. So the findings. 15 Krukenberg procedures were done on 11 patients, 8 men and 3 women. 3 had single arm amputations and 8 had double hand amputations. In only 2 patients had sufficient time passed for the stumps to heal. Of 10 patients who were followed up at 3 months, all could eat and drink by themselves. The simple dressing test was passed by all patients and 75% of the patients have recovered some dexterity. So as you can see, the Krukenberg procedure is in no doubt life-changing for each of these individuals and can be considered more advanced than regular prosthetics. Now this is going to surprise you, but many surgeons actually refuse to perform this surgery because they think they're sort of mutilating the human body, that they're changing it in a way where the human body is not meant to. So it comes to the question, if you were a surgeon, and a patient asks you to perform the Krukenberg procedure, would you do it? Let me know in the comments below. So that's the story of the Krukenberg procedure. If you found this video interesting, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more stories. I'm Alex Lamb and this is Stories of the World.